fight. I just needed a moment. Oh. Would you like me to get you some water? I put my lips on that. You'll become infected and die within a week. Uh, is that what you want? Uh. <laughs> uh. I'll tell you what you can do, though. Is you can free me of this damn thing. How far is it to the next village? Uh, two days as the crow flies. Mm. Do you expect me to arrive there on my own accord? Say that as if I had chosen to contract this element. No. No. Uh, it shan't be a long journey for you. You stick to the road. And you'll receive a warm welcome. Provi provided there are still those who can greet you. <laughs> if I do not make it, then take a sword with you. Defend yourself for a short time. My oh. life has not been spent swinging metal around. Oh, <laughs> I've forgotten. Huh. You know, I believe I'll take you up on that offer for water. I think, uh, let me see. Oh. Just north of the road, there's a stream. Would you be so kind? <laughs> Will you still be here upon my return? I believe I will. I believe I will. Hello? Are you injured? Can you speak? Can you hear me? Is there a way I can help?
hell-bent on the destruction of men. Oh. Now, may I have my water? Or do you intend on keeping it for yourself? purpose does it serve to kill him? If there is evil in the world, it is naturally the obligation of a civilized man to abolish it. The gods tell us that murder is a sin. What of the gods? What of them? Does a civilized man really have use for them? You say there are no gods. But where does that put you in life? What are the significance of your actions? I swore an oath to protect you. And that is what I have done. And now, I am hungry. Oh. You know, you act so caring of this impoverished man. But what of the decadent you were? Is that not a discrepancy in your morality? Huh? I know, I know. Why don't you drape your throw on him? Huh? I am better. Shower him with the wealth of the gods' infinite knowledge. Are you good to continue? Is your strength up? Uh. This water and food will provide me with the energy to make it till tonight. But, uh, it, ooh, I tell you, I believe the disease has taken a liking to my brain. <laughs> oh, come on. Can we move Just then? Move. Can I not enjoy my last meal? I am to end this barbarous man's life. I will at least need some nourishment. You cannot. I forbid it. The gods have said. And I have said. I do not regard the gods' laws as my own. We are best suited to continue on this road. It will only be a matter of time before before I am deceased. Hmm? Say it. Oh. Go on, say it. Say it, please. Before the disease controls my body completely. Hmm. I realize this. And I would like to have some semblance of pleasure in these last few moments. <laughs> I'll be over you, you are misguided. Death is not simply a toy to be passed around. I, 
We must continue. Please, come with me. How about we leave this one to chance, huh? I know. You're familiar with these now, aren't you? Call it. Oh, come on. Where are you going? Call it. Call it. Guess I'll do it for you. Oh. Oh. oh, how about that? I'll keep eating. I'll stick a sword in that thing. And then we can continue. Would you leave your decisions to the judgment of a coin? Oh. I'd follow a coin before I'd follow you. I can tell you that much. You require penance, sir. Your life has clearly been misguided. Will you let me absolve you? Oh. Because this plague isn't punishment enough. I... No, 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 no. I'll take my chances with what's on the other side. Come Sir here. Thomas! Come and pray. I forbid it! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Will you not let a man have his dying wish? Your attitude is wild! Animalistic, barbarous. That thing is as savage as I have said. He has no morals. Does he deserve to live? Huh? To be walking on the same earth and breathing the same air as us? He is a human. The same as you and I. Where is your humanity? Monsters know little of humanity. And you are no savior of men. Please, let me perform the last rites on you. I did not wish to say it, but I fear there is a demon inside of you. There is an empty stomach inside of me. Is that your concern? I must eat. I am hungry. Let me tell you a story, sir. Let me weave you a tale. I was but a boy, living as a farmhand, for my birth parents' whereabouts have only ever been a mystery to me. As my adoptive family so graciously reminded me on the regular. So, this one pleasant afternoon, the sun was out and shining. And I had just finished picking corn from the stalk for the night supper. And I will never, ever forget this. As I was plodding back to our farm, I saw a plume of smoke rising up. No. There were no residences for some distance, so I run forward. What could it be? As it would turn out, the house had been lit up. Gone in no time at all. So, I was young, 
but I searched in desperation for my surrogate family. And what did I find? Their bodies strewn across the floor, surrounded by burning wood. So with tears down my face, I stayed outside and watched the rest of the building burn. And that's when I saw those who had done it. A pack of barbarians, not dissimilar to this fella here. So, one of them looked at me as they were leaving. He looked right in my eyes. He saw my pain. Who I was and what I would become. And he kept walking. He was the cruelest man I'd ever known. Why didn't he just kill me? Why did he leave me? A life of hurt is nothing compared to the blow of a sword. is not incapable of rising beyond the circumstances to which he has been given. Your mantra is the same as this man. You rule yourself by the sword. And what a leader she has been. What happens when you leave iron out in the rain? It rusts. It stains. It grows weak. Because even the strongest of metals cannot bear the natural forces of life. We are not defined by what we do in this life, but how we do it. Do you not understand that? I am enlightened. The gods have shown me that morality is a matter of conviction. Do you hear this? Mark me. For my actions will echo and last for centuries and span generations. Whereas your sword will be dug up as rotted and worthless as it is now. We must act with meaning. It is a matter of gods. Some men don't need to concern themselves with the misgivings of gods.
Ugh! <sighs> 